Ever wondered how a queen of Greek descent managed to rule Egypt and capture the hearts of the mightiest Romans? Today, we're diving into the life of the legendary Cleopatra. Born into the Ptolemaic dynasty, this Greek-Egyptian queen used her wit, charm, and strategic alliances to maintain her reign. From her ascension to the throne to her relationships with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, Cleopatra left an indelible mark on history. Let's embark on a journey through time and unravel the enigma that is Cleopatra. Cleopatra was not born a queen, but destiny had a throne waiting for her. Born into the Ptolemaic dynasty, a family of Greek origin that ruled Egypt after Alexander the Great, she was destined for greatness. Yet the path to power was not without its obstacles. At the tender age of 18, Cleopatra ascended to the throne alongside her 10-year-old brother, Ptolemy XIII. However, sibling rivalry soon turned to outright conflict, leading to her brief exile. Cleopatra, however, was not one to accept defeat. She gathered an army, returned to Egypt, and reclaimed her throne, becoming the sole ruler of Egypt. But maintaining her position was a constant game of chess. She deftly navigated the treacherous waters of politics, forming alliances and outsmarting her opponents. Her reign was marked by political intrigue and power struggles, but her real test was yet to come. In the world of power and politics, alliances can make or break a reign. Cleopatra, the last active ruler of Egypt's Ptolemaic dynasty, understood this well when she formed a crucial alliance with none other than Julius Caesar, the Roman general and statesman. Their relationship was more than just political, it was also personal, an intriguing blend of romance and strategy that added a new dimension to the power dynamics of the time. When Cleopatra met Caesar, she was in exile, driven out by her brother. Caesar's support helped her reclaim the throne and solidify her power in Egypt. It wasn't just a one-way street, though. Caesar benefited, too. Egypt was a wealthy land, and its queen was a valuable ally. Together, they formed a potent partnership that had a lasting impact on the political landscape. But Cleopatra's alliances did not end with Caesar. Another Roman general was about to enter her life. When Cleopatra met Mark Antony, the world witnessed a love story that shook empires. The Egyptian queen and the Roman general, two of the most powerful figures of their time, were drawn together by both political necessity and a palpable personal connection. Their alliance was a strategic masterstroke, strengthening Cleopatra's hold over Egypt and offering Antony the resources he needed to challenge his political rivals back in Rome. Their relationship deepened into a genuine romance, which resulted in three children. Together, they reveled in the grandeur of Egypt, hosting lavish parties and living a life of opulence. Yet. Their love story was not just about grand gestures and public displays, it was also a partnership that had significant political implications. This was particularly evident in the Battle of Actium, a showdown that pitted Antony and Cleopatra against Antony's rival Octavian. Though they fought with all their might, they were ultimately defeated, marking a turning point in history and the beginning of the end for both of them. Their story, however, was destined for a tragic end. The tale of Cleopatra would be incomplete without discussing the mystery that shrouds her death. The most common theory suggests Cleopatra committed suicide by allowing an asp, a venomous Egyptian serpent, to bite her. This narrative, often romanticized in literature and art, points to a queen choosing her own fate rather than falling into Roman hands. However, some historians question this account. They argue it's hard to imagine how a snake could have been smuggled into her heavily guarded room. Others propose she could have used a fatal mixture of drugs. Regardless of the method, the consensus is that Cleopatra's death was a calculated act, a final display of her defiance against Rome. Her demise brought an end to the Ptolemaic dynasty and marked Egypt's transition from an independent kingdom to a province of Rome. Cleopatra's death marked the end of an era, but her legacy was far from over. Cleopatra has been immortalized in history and popular culture, but how much of it is true to the woman she was? From the pens of ancient historians to the silver screens of Hollywood, Cleopatra has been variously depicted as a seductress, a cunning manipulator, and a tragic heroine. Yet, behind these portrayals lies a woman of incredible intellect and political acumen. She was the last of the Ptolemaic rulers, holding her own in a world dominated by powerful men, and even today she remains a symbol of female empowerment. Historical sources reveal a queen who was fluent in multiple languages, a shrewd diplomat, and a capable administrator. She was not just a figurehead, but an active participant in the governance of her kingdom. Yet popular culture often sidelines these achievements, focusing instead on her relationships with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. In a world ruled by men, 
Cleopatra used her intelligence, charisma, and strategic alliances to maintain her power. She remained undeterred by the challenges she faced as a female ruler, navigating the political landscape with dexterity and grace. Cleopatra was more than her alliances, more than her beauty, and certainly more than the way she died. She was a woman of substance, a ruler of tenacity, and a queen who left an indelible mark on history. Cleopatra was more than a queen. She was a symbol of strength, intelligence, and charisma that continues to inspire us today.